happy Friday. Welcome back to FAQ Friday, and this is the series where I am tackling your most frequently asked questions. Today's question is, what do I actually do as a software engineer besides beep boop, tip tap, the computer every now and again? And yeah. So <laughs> basically, I want to talk about my role, what I do, and um, how it sort of differs than my last job. So I will start out with my role and what I do. So my official title is software engineer, and I focus mostly um, on front end engineering. And most of my time uh, with this position is spent between two teams. The first team that I work with is a design system team. Half of my time is spent writing code and maintaining a pretty large uh, code base. So if you don't know, a design system is a collection of styling guidelines, of components, of uh, pre-built styles that is available for developers to use to make things a little bit easier for them. And in our case, uh, we're using a design system so that all of the applications that are created by um, our company, they all look standard and they all look uniform. Um, and it takes away a lot of the guesswork from developers so they can just use our components and those styles and just get moving with the applications that they're making. So it really just makes their job hopefully a little bit easier. You can almost think of it like bootstrap or tailwinds. The other team that I work on is sort of a documentation team. Um, and this one is really interesting to me because it's different than anything else that I have like ever worked on before. And basically the other half of my time is spent working on this documentation team where we are currently developing a documentation engine that will allow technical writers and developers or really anybody who's creating any sort of documentation to really focus on the content that they're creating and we will handle serving uh, the content on pages themselves. So these roles are very quite unique and different from each other and they require a different style of thinking, um, but I really love that about them. So when I'm working with the design system, I really mostly handle like code creation, uh, issue fixes, bugs, anything like that. Um, this is more of an established code base. It's very large. It's very, very well documented. That's actually one of the things that I loved when I came on to this position is that there was so much documentation. Um, this team has about like 10 people and I love that everybody sort of has their niche in uh, the design system itself and everybody's very, very knowledgeable. Um, and then as opposed to working on the documentation team, this is a project that is still very new and it's still coming to life. So I love that it's in an early state so we get to experiment and figure things out as we go. Now I want to talk about the technology that I use because this is a very common question also. So the main languages that I use day to day are HTML, CSS, JavaScript, TypeScript, and React. Um, and on the documentation side, I am also using Next.js. So I strictly work on the front end. And even though that might not sound like a long list of technologies or um, programming languages, I promise that some of these things are kind of complex. Don't let that short list fool you. And lastly, I want to talk about how this current position that I have is a little bit different than the last job that I had. So I want to preface it with, if you didn't know, my last job was a contracting position. So as a contractor, I worked for one company and I spent all of my time coding and doing work for another company. Um, and I think that's important to the experience that I had with that other company. But for starters, this role felt a lot more challenging and a lot more difficult. And Part of it was we are using TypeScript very robustly. Um, and in my last position, we sort of use TypeScript in basic formats. Or I would say basic in comparison to like what I'm doing now. That was part of it. But this uh, code base is just so large and complex that it took a lot to get used to. And I'm still learning little bits each day. Um, I also used React in my last position. But the thing I love and always like to hear from software engineers or developers themselves is how they use technologies because I know that there are tons of other developers out there who use the same stack that I do and they are using um, them in completely different ways than I am and even me using basically the same stack in my last job seeing how differently I'm using it now is just so cool. 
So I also think it's a little bit different because creating elements for a design system is way different than just using them. There are so many different like considerations that you have to have and things that you have to take into account about how your users will and might interact with the components that you're creating and the tools that you create. My users now are other developers, which is a big change and requires a different change in mindset. Previously, uh, the app that I was working on before at my last job, we had like over a million users and for some reason, developing for a ton of users who were just using um, like a web page didn't seem so daunting in comparison to creating code for other developers. The last thing is I definitely feel like in this job, I am more free to experiment, to make mistakes and to learn. And I think that just might be a difference in company culture overall. So previously I worked on an agile team where there were hard and set deadlines every two weeks. Um, and there wasn't really much wiggle room. Like there would be a little bit of wiggle room if for instance, something took a little bit longer than expected, but there wasn't this time where I felt like I can spend a day or a half a day or however long diving into something to try to understand it better and not feel bad about it. Like I don't feel like, oh, I wasted a whole day because I needed to understand this one thing or how this thing works with something else or taking a little bit of time to create like a proof of concept for something. I don't feel bad about doing those things here. And it's something that definitely if you were gonna do it, it probably had to be done on your own time outside of your actual work because the deadlines were so strict. So that's something that I really love um, here in comparison to my last job. So of course we do have deadlines. I'm not just out here not working on any deadlines, but the deadlines are have a lot more wiggle room. And I also just feel like it's just naturally encouraged to, to learn more. So I love that, but yeah. That is basically what I do for work, the tools that I use, how it's different from my last job. I really like this new job that I'm in now. I feel like it's always challenging me. I'm always learning. Um, I don't think a day has gone by where I haven't learned something either from the code base that I'm working on or somebody on my team. So I love that. But that is all for this video. So if you have a question for me, go ahead and check out the description of this video where there is going to be a little form for you to go ahead and submit your question. And until next time, I can't wait to see you all in my next video.